Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round 2 Group J game between Coke Guy and his Undead up against Spartacus with his Lizard Men. Um, I can put the table on the screen for you here. So as you can see, Mad Jake and Wentros both beat these two guys. So now these two are scrapping to stay alive. If they draw, they've probably got a chance yeah they've got a chance right if they draw they've got a chance um they've both got a chance if they draw if one loses the loser is out for sure the loser is eliminated 100 percent with two losses but if they draw they're both in with a slight chance so that is the state of play there i can tell you how they both qualified court guy is from Singapore he qualified through the rebel qualifier on PC and Spartacus also plays on PC and he is French and qualified through the Champions Cup season 5 Spartacus I, he impressed me how well he played this team but I am not impressed by the build two guard and a tackle I think is a very is just very much worse than six block um, 12 players and two rerolls, uh, which is again is like worse, right? With three less block, the two rerolls is even more risky. Uh, court guy with a pretty standard couple of block, wrestle, tackle, guard, guard. So, pretty, pretty standard undead team for Coke guy. Should have been six frenzy, no, should have been six block guy. I am adamant that six block is the correct lizard man team. But nope, that guy wouldn't have been knocked over. Not hitting with his mummy, so I guess he wants to blitz with the other mummy. Is the only way to get two dice or to a second chance of hitting the crocs. So that's completely reasonable. Ooh. Not sure about follow, because now you've got to try and protect your mummy. Right, you really have to protect your... And now he's exposed, hilariously, he's exposed the ghoul to the tackle guy. Of course, it's a defenseless ghoul, so block is just better. Oof, does a rush. I don't really see the point of that rush, because... He was out of position anyway. Fails the pickup, doesn't reroll it. Oh, the Duble Skull eats it. Didn't stand up the crop the Saurus next to him. So a slight turn order issue there. And just eats that dub skull because he's only got two rerolls. Which means his crocs eat this block. And this one. Hitting the skink. Gets him. Kaz. Brilliant. Reddit. Reddit proved correct. <laughs> Just simply blitz and remove them. Easiest thing you can do. Oh, a blockless block is punished. That rush might really hurt him, right? Because I really don't think he should have made that rush. And then... So he should have two rerolls, right? But he's got one. I think it was definitely a mistake. No. Huge foul on this Garda. Gets the removal. Oh no, Apple is used. Okay, good Apple. Because he's going to pile in next turn to rescue it, I guess, is the plan. Chains him away and nearly off. Crocs all the other side. So I'm not such a fan of appoing this guy if you're not going to stop him getting fouled the turn after, right? 
but we're not blitzing with this guy, so maybe Okay, oh. So we could foul here. Is that on Twitch, the zooming in and out? Yeah, it's that's weird. I noticed that. Just a Twitch thing, right? Not my not my actual screen. So he did go off the foul again, didn't get the removal. Yeah, I, I've noticed that when I was, uh, when I, like other days when I was watching my stream, I don't know why it's happening. No, it's definitely not the, that's what I mean, it's definitely Twitch and not a, not my stream thing. That's 100% not my stream. The uh, YouTube will be fine. Like, it's not my output. Okay, we could run around and get, an, yeah, get the foul in here. I quite like this. Problem is the Saurus, yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> he had another player. Okay, well, I think this was not the way to do it. I feel like you can have a player here, right? And have the ball there and have a player here. And then foul to this one. But this is like really risky. Really incredibly risky. Unbelievably risky. But he's not going for it, or, or going for it with a skink. With a skink dodge. Gets the pow. The problem is now all the skinks are committed. <laughs> Ball in the crowd. All the way over there. Yeah, on so I right, so let let's go back, shall we? This guy had already moved. <sighs> Man, honestly I think you're better off just not fouling, right? Like or not doing it this way, right? This guy needs to have stayed back. This guy needs to have stayed back or something. Like, one ghoul stays back, and then you, like, screen him here. And then this guy goes in for the foul. You cannot go here. You just... You cannot. You cannot go out here. Because the kind of way to stop this... This uphill was actually really nice for him. It makes him start with a crocs block, right? Because, I mean, t to me, I'm just definitely starting the crocs blocks crocs block now right this guy can block him and then your guard stands up and I guess you uh, assist with the um, skink to here right and three dice him for a push and then this crop this saurus goes one two three four Oh, you've got to move both out of the way anyway. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that really is annoying that both skinks are in the way of the... I was thinking, like, this croc split is so much better. Because he goes up this way and hits him, and then you've got your... I mean, first off, stand this guy up. 
but then you've got the skinks to to respond but you actually don't because you'd have they're both they're actually both in the way of this block guy so you'd have to run through them both one two three four five six rush rush but i like that even though it's two rushes i like that because you would have well i thought you'd have two skinks to respond but i guess you'd only have one skink he'd have to dodge away I still think that's worth it though. Because like you've got to dodge with this skink, right? Which is a one in nine chance of failure. I'd rather two two rushes. Um I'd rather do two rushes than a dodge. And crucially have a skink left to react. Oh he did a dodge. Yeah, because you're gonna get served. The problem is he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any. Um, he doesn't have any recovery. I mean, I wouldn't have bothered doing that if you're gonna. I guess he stood up and then realised. Oh, I'm gonna get surfed. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get surfed. I'd better dodge, right? I, I guess that's what happened. I guess he stood up without thinking and then thought, Oh, I'm gonna get surfed. I've got to dodge because obviously you're better off just not standing up if you're gonna stand up and dodge to there. Yeah, so if if he if he had just uh you know moved one skink to here and one skink to here, blissed with a saurus, then it, that skink could have gone and ran back and picked it up. So yeah, I think that was I think he did that a bit wrong. There, Spartacus. I guess he can still like pressure the stall and uh, you know just dodge all the skinks. Oh, but there's a tackle. There's a tackle. Uh, white in play. Does dodge away from him? Flip me. This looks like he's going to blitz and rejoin the rest of his ghouls here, right? I'd have stuck him on the sideline there. Yeah. I, it, look, it looked like he pushed him here on my screen. It looked like he pushed him there. I was like, why didn't he put him on the sideline? <laughs> but apparently he had. Um, this guy could have come further in, right? He could have still been in a, in a cage um, rather than... Being able to be uphill in the end zone. Ah. So things have been based. Trying to eventually free the guarder there, right, with that block and then the crocs block. Could have freed both guarders, but didn't. This source is going to blitz the uh, white there. Maybe he should have made the crocs block before standing this guy. Oh no, he couldn't. Yeah, no, he couldn't. Man, he loves this dodging, doesn't he? If he hadn't, if he hadn't dodged him the other turn, he would have still been here, and then he could have tried a different dodge. Just stood up, then actually. So we can surf this uh, Saurus potentially. I mean, very easily. But it doesn't go for it, so... I'll show this. Let's show this, eh? 
So this this ghoul could have come in, blitzed him, pushed him there, and then pushed him there, and then surfed him. And I think it's really is worth it. Or in fact, you could probably surf the line, or you could probably surf the skink as well, right? Punch with this guy and push him to there. No, because the, the ball carrier. No, you could blitz with the ball. You could blitz with the ball, and then score. So you could, it's, <laughs> so you could double surf and score, or you could uh, just surf the saurus. I, I guess you just surf the saurus. Surfing the saurus is is well worth it. Absolutely well worth it. I think, I think you basically have to surf the saurus there. Honestly. Because he's like a big strength force scary dude, isn't he? Like, it's just a good thing to get rid of him. Full stop. Whereas now, you're gonna get... You're gonna get a two Saurus based on the ball, maybe? Nice removal. Yeah, but he comes in from the diagonal. Full power. Hmm. I mean, you're not gonna make him do better than one in nine to score, are you? Unfortunately, this is the problem. Like, even if you've made this. Even if you make this Saurus dodge, like if you could have pushed him there and then tried the Saurus dodge, but it's not really. He's already just going to dodge, I think, isn't he? Yeah. Went for that, but it just doesn't really help because I think he's just going to dodge. Whatever happens. Obviously, smashes the skink first. Dodge. Okay, so Cold Guy gets his drive done. Spartacus has the one turn chance, but uh, it's not terrible, is it? It's not terrible. He's down, got ten players for it. Convinced by the setup. I'll be up. I'll be honest. Oh, solid defense. It was already perfect. Oh, okay, so this is it. Oh, this is good then. This is good. Errata, errata. This is fine. Croc scores in. Is it fine? Yeah, probably. Yes, yes, get him round there. Has to re-roll now. Oh, it's happening. Oh my goodness. This is probably the best one turn that we've seen. And he even gets to punch the... What?! Was he... Did he not activate it? <laughs> he hadn't activated this Saurus. Right? This Saurus hadn't activated. It was a million times better to punch him. But there you go, he got it done. Lovely one turn, apart from the end. <laughs> apart from the end, it was a lovely one turn. So that really sets up Spartacus for victory here. I wonder if Coke Guy will be regretting the non-solid, solid defense. 
And this guard saw us stays out. It was a weird setup, not defending against a blitz at all. Like it's not certainly not wide against a blitz. But catches the uh, catches the kick and it's not over, is it? It's still a full team for the undead, but the natural result has switched from draw to lizard victory. So. Coke guy's got to make something happen. But I do, I do like the things that Spartacus does, right? With only having three block, you know, like he's blocking the LOS with block, block and crocs. Blitzes with block. Stuff like that. Tries to protect his things when appropriate, but um, I still think six block is better. I will never not think six block is best. But he could have blitzed a defenseless guy right now and he hasn't. In fact, I would have probably like ran around, blitzed this guy, pushed him into there, and then hit him with a mummy and stuff rather than just going for this guy. This is a big gun foul though. Does nothing. Will it be too costly positionally? Maybe. Because boy howdy have the lizards gone down this side. The defense was all right, but with with when he got solid defense, he should have probably tried to do something else. I think he had the gap in the wrong place as well. Now I think about it. I think he had the I think he had the gap in the wrong side. Yeah, he had the gap in the wrong side, yeah. So yeah, so it wasn't the best defence he could have had. Thanks, Kalon. Huge foul. Going for the fouls. I don't hate going for the fouls here. Because, you know, you need a bit of luck to turn this around. But the problem is completely abandoning defense to do it. <laughs> Come. Completely abandoning defense to make the fouls is, yeah, exactly, exactly. Kill on once, spark because it's set up like that. Then, uh, you you know, I mean, if you're playing in the game and you're paying attention to what both people are doing 110% because you're focusing completely locked in on the match then you should be able to know how he's going how he plans to do the one turn and you should be able to take some steps to stop him so we can dodge the other ghouls through here maybe can't he I think he probably should have dodged with this ghoul as well, right? After he did the block, this ghoul could have come and, uh, like, tagged. Because you do want somebody in there, so that could have been him. And 
then you could have done these two later to try and get even more stuff around. I like the I liked him sidelining this guy and then coming back in with him. A full pal. You could run all the way back, but uh, I guess he's not going to. Another full power. Doesn't hit the tackler. Just goes in, yeah. Interesting. I think he should still just hit the tackler, right? Okay, so he goes in early, so Coke Guy can still get the draw. He has to not lose, right? L losing is out. The, the loser will be eliminated, but Coke Guy can still get the draw and still keep some kind of a lifeline in the game here in the group well, that was a deep gal touch back oh on the forward block he's going for he's just he could still win couldn't he he could still go for the win here he could go for the 3-2 win flip me that is rowdy that i mean that is really rowdy that's so far forward I think he could have definitely been two squares back and then tried to get this guy forward or that guy forward or, you know, some kind of support. This is essentially potato. Absolutely no, uh, no protection because it's like this. I mean, you can blitz one of these, but can't this guy hit? Well, it helps they roll the pow and the stun. You can still just walk around and hit him, can't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. You can still just walk around and hit him with tackle as well. So, honestly, this 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 zombie should have tried a five plus jump to there to tag. To tag this Saurus. This Saurus just goes one, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush, two dices in with tackle. I don't like doing the irrelevant block first, right? Like that's not changing board positions, just giving you a chance to reuse a reroll. the absolutely critical play of smashing the ball carrier to pieces and not losing the game and now he could have made that block with block and obviously both these dodges goes for the pickup gets it goes for the dodge and fails and the ball's on the ground so I guess you uphill Well, you, you could have just uphill with a block, right? But I guess this is to two. Oh, he's not blocking with the wrestle. I thought he'd have blocked with a the wrestle then, and you know, and then score with the other one. Okay. Okay, well, this is uh, still a bit of a mess for Spartacus. All these ghouls around the ball. And two dead skinks and a KO'd skink. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? He's on the verge of drawing here. Or break it. Doesn't go for the ball pick up himself. Hmm. Do you uphill the tackle Saurus here? Try to get a 
try to get a uh, scatter. Probably, right? Probably. He gets the full power and the scatter. Because it, it's doubly good, right? Because it, it takes off the tackle zone, off the ball, potentially, and uh, makes it an easier pickup. And then this one is less good because he's got block. You're just trying to push him to there. You could probably just go for the four plus pickup, honestly. That's, that may be better. He could have blocked the skink, right? He could have blocked the skink. And then he could have just gone for the four. Yeah, no, I don't like the second. I like the first uphill, didn't like the second uphill. Yeah. Agreed. And that is maybe enough. Nope, it's not. He's removed. He's only got one skink left. But that is a KO, so he's running out of stuff here almost, isn't he, court guy? But he's still got two turns left. Maybe take a second here. Focus. You know, think about what he can do down here. Is there anything he can do? I guess um, you could try to block him and block him and get this guy through. Don't hate that at all. But we're just focused on doing ball things. Like that uphill last turn, right? That uphill last turn, the second uphill. Oh, it gets unlucky. Gets unlucky. I actually like this play, because if, if you get the pow, and then if you just get the push there, then you're like one, two, three, four, five, six, and you've got him right through. Blitz here to save the skink dodge. Tackle doing work. And now Spartax has got the ball. Man, there is a tackler here. Dead, dead, dead. There is a tackler here to Blitz. And he gets the dodge and gets the pow. And now he can just... Uh, Lob it to the ghoul or something, but uh, wow, pretty pretty cool game, very exciting stuff. A lot of stuff happened, but unfortunately for Court Guy, he is eliminated from the World Championship with that second loss. Um, Spartacus is now in with a shot. With a one win and one loss. And uh, so there you go. Commiserations, Court Guy. Congratulations, Spartacus. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.